What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Striker's Crypt. And most importantly, welcome to episode two of Critical Moments, where we show and talk about all things theme parks. Uh, right now, we're covering Universal Studios. I hope we cover uh, Disney World at some point in the future, because uh, pretty soon we'll be doing uh, me. Well, I'm going I'm, I'm to be physically there in Florida covering Universal Studios, uh, Orlando stuff and parks and all that fun rigmarole. Um, so yeah, if you are new, make sure you are subscribed to stick around for the ride. And without further ado, we have tons of stuff to cover. And I mean tons of stuff, even tons of even stuff I forgot to bring up in the last one. Um, so yeah, so one of the things I want to talk about today is, first of all, the snack stand in Marvel got a new name. Did you know that? You did? Who told you? The mailman? <laughs> Yeah, anyways, the, the snack stand in Marvel got a new name and sign now called the Daily Bugle uh, Snacks and Drinks. Uh, so that has reopened. I believe that's right by, um, I know it's, I think it's by one of the entrances of the Marvel stores. Uh, not far from uh, the, the Doom Ride, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody can help me out there with that one. And also, here's a, here's a fun thing that kind of surprised me. Those of you who like Hello Kitty... Yes. Oh, I don't know. I just may have thought maybe you might know. But see, that's what see that's why I have my notes and I'm ready, okay? Uh-huh. So the Hello Kitty Chucky bag are back in stock at the Hello Kitty shop. Let's pretend like you care and go whoop de do and no. I don't know, just be excited, okay? <laughs> just be excited. Just be happy for the park. <laughs> and there's, there's also more things coming to the park. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, also, oh, this is a long list. A lot of things we got to cover today. Mardi Gras prep has begun with fountains and projectors being installed. Um, hopefully I get around to maybe linking a couple of pictures uh, in this video. Unless I'm just too damn lazy. Too much stuff going on this week. Um, so uh, bear with me if I don't. But if I do... Give me a freaking round of applause for putting any effort in because I'm too damn lazy. But anyways, yeah, it will run from February 3rd to April 7th. So look out for that. And speaking of Mardi Gras, we should be down there and moved. It uh, looks like, like no later than March. So hopefully I'll be able to physically cover Mardi Gras this year. As we went, I believe last year we went, uh, I think it was pretty good. Um, so hopefully this year we'll get an even better show. Um, also, DreamWorks Land uh, opens up this summer, which isn't really entirely new news, but I'm psyched for it. And there's also something that could be changed down in that area of DreamWorks. wonder what it's going to be. Any ideas? Probably you don't. Um, also, there's a rumor <clears throat> of Simpsons being replaced, but what is replacing? Any ideas? No. You don't have any ideas? No. What do you think should replace it? If you were to replace Simpsons, what are you going to replace it? Even asking everybody watching, what is Simpsons going to be replaced with or what should it be replaced with? What do you think? Because the answer right now, if it's if it's true, it's wild. And all I'm, all I'm going to say right now with the hint before I say it is, I want to be the very best. No. Zelda will go back to with the Lost Continent. So... The rumor mill going along with The Simpsons is, I want to be the very best, got to catch them all. What am I talking about? Pokemon. Pokemon. So yes, Pokemon is a rumored conversation for The Simpsons land uh, in Universal Studios Orlando. Uh, that should be an interesting trade-off. Very interesting. Um, those of you who are fans of Pokemon should be definitely excited for that. Um... I think it's going to kind of be an odd fit for me personally if, if it's between Men in Black and DreamWorks. I personally thought they were going to do uh, Circuit Life of Pets or maybe an extension to DreamWorks to make that whole side just DreamWorks themed and kind of leave where Men in Black is just the way it is. That's my personal perspective. But yeah, let me know how you feel uh, about the rumor mill of uh, Pokemon replacing Simpsons. That should be interesting uh, because the copyright or the rights of uh, Simpsons for Universal is like weighing down I think this year and next year I'm not entirely sure but I'm sure we'll hear more news about that 
probably close to the end of this year, which this year, I personally believe some people I think are not going to be showing up in the park. They might wait for next year for Epic, but we'll get into that later on. Um, but yeah, also here's another fun one. Uh, if you're excited for Epic Universe, because it's kind of funny, I kind of walked into this Epic Universe conversation, didn't I? Uh, if you're hyped for Epic Universe like I am and everybody else known to man, uh, we also had conversations of Luigi's Mansion for Epic Universe. So we might get more stuff from uh, Mario Land, um, as we've already had uh, talks, or I think progress, of Donkey Kong being involved. Uh, I think Donkey Kong Land or Donkey Kong Ride or area, I believe, was already talked about for Universal uh, Hollywood, I do believe. Somebody can correct me in the comment section down below if you want to. Or live in that area to help me out. Um, but yeah, Luigi's Mansion, that could be a very fun ride. Uh, I think for me personally, or even if they turn it into like a activity-based uh, ride, I don't know, maybe they'll do some Minion Blast. I just got hate for saying Minion Blast. I'm fully aware of it. No one likes it. I'm fully aware. We'll talk about and cover that at some point. Um, but not exactly Minion Blast, but maybe if we make it some kind of game like Minion Blast, or even better, uh, we do something like Men in Black kind of ride with Luigi's Mansion, where maybe like you have like a ghost gun and you're catching all these ghosts and you're racking up points. So basically an improved Minion Blast, but with a side of Men in Black could be a fun ride. Or maybe just a straight up ride like you'd see like Dr. Seuss or E.T. Uh, let me know what kind of ride you think Luigi's Mansion should be. Um, Jesus Christ. Uh, those of you who live in Texas, uh, not exactly news dropping this week, but I want to inform you because, well, I'm trying to be as, as, as informative as I possibly can. Um, we have Universal Kids Focus Theme Park in Texas. So those of you who live in Texas and have kids or just don't have any means of going to Florida or California, but you want to enjoy the experience of Universal Studios, you will be able to enjoy the experience uh, in Texas uh, very soon, probably the next few years. Uh, I don't think they did release a uh, time frame on the open for that, but that should be fun to do. Maybe I'll go check it out at some point. Uh, kind of make it like a vacation trip. I don't know. If you want, if you want to see me do that, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and also, speaking of new Universal Studios parks uh, opening, Jesus Christ, I guess I kind of labeled this just nicely, didn't I? Um, we also have a Universal Studios set to open in the UK. Now, how do we actually exactly feel about this? You think it's going to be a success? Are we going to run off the 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 kids theme as we're doing with Texas? Is Universal UK just going to be like a studios or a Hollywood? What, what do you what do you think UK is going to be? Do you think it's going to be themed or do you think it's going to be a regular studios? But in the UK, how, how are we feeling about that? I think it will be. You think it will, but you think it will be what? Uh, themed. You think it'll be themed, so you think it's going to be a small theme park like the kids when they're going to open up in Texas and not big like studios or the one in Hollywood? Yeah. You think it's going to be? I think that is quite possible. Um, being that uh, UK, I don't know what exact theme parks you have. It's, it's kind of like an out-of-pocket place for the theme park is the UK. And I, I, I don't mean that biasly. Um... But I'm very curious to see what that's going to turn out to be or what they're going to do with it. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely uh, keep you up to date with what's going on over there. I don't know if I will actually make videos down there on it. Um, we'll see what the future holds. But I will at least cover it uh, to keep you in the know with that. So that should be fun to follow along with. And also we have an update to E.T.'s. Uh, adventure ride. Finally, something up to date with ET. The conversation. Let's get rid of it. Let's let's change it to something else. And we the people have decided. No, you're not going to touch that. Just like Splash Mountain at Disney World. Um, but yeah, we have new color changing lights in ET uh, Adventure Ride, and I think that's absolutely great. Um, I enjoy the ride every time I go on it. It's definitely a comfort ride. You can just sit there. Uh, and just enjoy like even just for like a first time rider for roller coasters I think that's a definite recommendation for me personally now I haven't gone on a lot of rides I've gone on ET 
I've gone on Escape from Gringotts. I've gone on Men in Black. I don't think I've gone on anything else, have I? I don't think I don't so. think, no. I don't think I have. Uh, I do intend to go on different ones. Um, uh, well, I'm going down there a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, a couple more things I want to talk about before we end this video. Um, kind of have, um... I have a question for you. Do you think it's too early to uh, talk about rumors for HHN um, for this year? No, I don't think so. Because we already have a conversation about um, a haunted house for this year. Yeah. And we're going to get some... Uh, yeah, they were talking about it. And um, we could be getting Five Nights at Freddy's uh, haunted house this year. Now, my personal thoughts um, on the... HHN event last year. I know I didn't capture as much as I'd like to. A lot of plans kind of fell through. Um, but yeah, if you want to go check those videos out, um, be, be sure to go uh, search for them. And I'll send two of those to put them in the description. Um, but yeah, definitely go, try, go check those out. Uh, I didn't do any houses or anything like that. I did have intentions to do one. Um, but plans and it just got so crowded. Uh, just I don't know. I feel like I feel like last year's HHN wasn't great. I don't think it's per se bad, but I feel like a lot of it was just underwhelming in my personal opinion. To where the year prior they had it wasn't it was like two years ago they had that Pumpkin Lord, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that was the better HHN overall. I wasn't there for it, but I did see it. Um, although we can all agree the Pumpkin Lord uh, every fifteen minutes or whatever it was did get annoying over time. Uh, but I think that was the better uh, HHN compared to this one. Uh, hopefully this one coming up is going to be even better or redeeming. Personally, with F, with, with FNAF, Five Nights at Freddy's, HHN rumors, that should be definitely fun. With Five Nights at Freddy's, the first movie that came out definitely did well in the box office. Uh, there's already a sequel in the works. Um, so I think taking advantage of that, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's could be a fun haunted house. For this year, and um, yeah, because it's not too early on that topic, anyways. Uh, let me know what other HHN uh, haunted houses or what you hope or expect for this year for Halloween. Um, I don't have any ideas right now what they could do for Halloween. Do you have any uh, general ideas? No, I don't. They could do some. Um, they they could drop some uh, epic universe stuff. They could do some monsters. They can do some Dracula. Maybe, um, Swamp Monster, you know, they can kind of like drop some like universal or like epic universe kind of stuff with the monsters. That might be kind of fun. Uh, maybe just have like one or two haunted, haunted houses themed around that. Um, I don't know what else. Um, but yeah, definitely interested to see what AJ is going to look like this year. Um, but yeah, I also want to talk about, uh, to kind of close this off because there isn't really much. Um, but we have had some talks. Um, about um, the Lost Continent, and I think I even talked about it on the channel back in October uh, about it getting reworked. And before we get into that one, let me take my sip of my G Fuel of the day as G Fuel powers us through these theme park vlogs and videos and really helps me for the channel itself. I am drinking Kamehameha G Fuel, and she right now is drinking. What are you drinking? I'm drinking strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake with a nice uh, Amy's uh, stainless steel shaker. It looks absolutely amazing in my personal opinion. I don't know if it's still on the G Fuel shop, but go check it out and try it if you haven't already. Um, Kamehameha, I know, is for sure not one of my favorites, but just I've kind of just been in the mood to just bust out a bunch of old ones I haven't had in a while or, you know, just kind of change the flow a little bit. So let me take a sip of this before we get into this conversation. And this is a strawberry light flavor, those of you who like strawberry. Um, but yeah, anyways, going into it, uh, the Lost Continent, there's been some talks um, about being uh, reskinned, refurbished, or changed, I think is inevitable. And the big one right now is Zelda. But we also have had some talks um, of Lord of the Rings, and they wanted to get the rights for Lord of the Rings, I think, since 
what, 2018 or even farther past that. You could probably look it up yourself. But Lord of the Rings, uh, jumping to Universal Studios, absolutely be, a, absolutely be a wild ride. Being we're already getting Nintendo. Um, so yeah, let me know which side you are on that one. Lord of the Rings or Zelda. I think it can go either way, but I think it'd be kind of very strange to kind of wake up, plan your trip to Universal Studios, you're walking down islands, you're passing through uh, Seuss Land, and you walk into freaking da na 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 on your Lord of the Rings, right? <laughs> and so here you are, na 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 and then all of a sudden you hear Harry Potter, and then it's like, I'm in the Twilight Zone. Like, I think that'd be a very weird trade-off to where you go from Lord of the Rings to Harry Potter, but I wouldn't be absolutely against that. But being, I'm sure they don't want to put a heavy amount of money into the change. Um, I think either one of those would be the way to go, being that all it would have to really be is a reskin. And whatever they do um, with Poseidon that closed off. Uh, yeah, it can really go either way. Uh, but if you do have any other suggestions or ideas that it could be, um, that could be interesting. I think somebody also brought up Donkey Kong. Uh, to go in the yeah. Lost Continent at one point. So that's another option uh, that it could be if they don't want to put that and add that with the Nintendo Land that we're going to be getting in Epic, uh, which I'm definitely excited to see Epic Universe when that uh, gets built and unfolds and launches and, and, stay and, and takes off. Uh, I'm going to hopefully try to get a video up the first week. Uh, I don't know if it'll be the opening day, but probably like the first week. Maybe try to avoid opening launch day crowds. Uh, we'll see how that exactly works, but that's look for that to open in 2025. And DreamWorks, I'm excited to cover this summer. That should be fun for sure. Yeah, I guess that kind of wraps up um, this conversation. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to keep you in the know of what's going on. Uh, I don't know if it's just going to be me every single week for uh, these critical moments, but they're kind of be little sequences, or not sequences, little segments, uh, be the vlogs when I'm there, or videos that are informative like this. And if I'm with somebody, uh, I am. If I'm not, I'm not. Um, but yeah, is there anything that you want to add uh, this year uh, with changes or thoughts or what, what do you hope to see this year? Uh, I hope that uh, that uh, the new parks that they're building and that I hope that... Um, they will be completed by what next year? Mm -hmm. There's possibly. Epic Universe is supposed to open up in 2025, as I just said. Um, I think the original date was supposed to be this year, wasn't it? And then it got delayed yeah. for a year, so that was a disappointment. But either way, we're still getting it. I'm excited. We're getting uh, somebody's probably going to yell at me and help me out here, or help me out if you want to. I think it's what How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah, we're getting yeah. Harry Potter expansion, and that's yeah. going to be, uh, what's that, the Ministry of Magic. I'm yeah. definitely excited for that. The Monsters themed uh, yeah. land. Mm -hmm. uh, someone said it's supposed to be more, um, I don't want to say adult, because that would be kind of exaggerated, but I think I think they're going to push the limit with the Monsters land area um, for what they can get away with, but still keep it, I guess, friendly for everybody. So we'll see what that turns out to be. So let's see, I said... Harry Potter, How to Train Your Dragon, Nintendo Land. What did I say? No, I said, Mar okay. Yeah, there's the. Uh... I forgot what I said now. How to Train Your Dragon. Yeah. Harry Potter, Nintendo World. What am I missing? Monsters. Uh, Shrek. Remember, they were going to do some. Uh some type of housing or something with Shrek. They're going to toss Shrek and Epic? I thought they are going to put that in DreamWorks next to E.T. They've already got a uh, his swamp set up in DreamWorks near E.T. Oh, okay. That's what I'm thinking of. Then. Yeah, you're not thinking Epic. You're thinking of Studios. I'm talking Epic. Okay. I forget all the locations and new things, but if I miss one, somebody, somebody please do help me out. Um... 
I mean, I think I think it's going to be a big launch. I think it's going to be a big deal when it does drop. Um, so hopefully it doesn't meet my expectations. But yeah, closing thoughts. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a good year for the channel. Uh, it's going to be a fun ride. Uh, try to fit these videos in once a week, probably early between Sunday and Tuesday, as early as possible. Keep you informed. And uh, yeah, anything else you want to add that I have not said? No, I think I'm good. You think you're good? Yes. Yeah, except uh, let's get Code Striker. Help me out, guys. It needs to happen. Didn't happen last year. It needs to happen this time. I'm drinking me some Kami Hami Ha. Uh, actually, not too bad of a flavor, as I remember. But I think because of it's strong, I think I generally like it in the Tall Boy shakers or something about that that just it makes it more mild and mellows it out a bit. <clears throat> I think that was a problem, but definitely a good flavor. And uh, yeah, if you haven't followed me on everything just yet, links are in the uh, channel description. Uh, so make sure you are following me to stay up to date with Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and whatever else. Because uh, if you want to be a part of the theme park vlogs, uh, make sure you join the Discord. And there should be some channels there uh, that should help you out and which one you might want to join. Uh, but anyways, yeah, as always, keep it energized. You know what to do. You know where to find me. And I'm out. <laughs>